All right, let's look at solving uh, absolute value inequalities. So to solve the absolute value inequalities, you have to remember these. Okay, when k is positive, okay, it's positive over here. The absolute value of x greater than k, the equivalent equation is, or the equivalent is x greater than k or x less than negative k. Uh, same thing goes for greater than or equal to. Uh, absolute value of x less than k, negative k is less than x less than k, and same thing goes for less than or equal to. So let's look at solving this inequality. Absolute value of x minus 9 is less than 2. So you can see that we're going to use this one, the third one. Absolute value of x less than k. That's negative k less than what's inside the absolute value less than k. So we have negative k less than what's inside the absolute value less than k. And then we solve this. So we add 9. So I get 7 is less than x less than 11. And uh, if we graph this we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And if we graph it, we have an open circle on the 7. And we have an open circle on the 11. And then we write our answer in interval notation. So that's going to be from 7 to 11. You can see one of my other videos on uh, inequalities, solving linear inequalities uh, about, and I go into a little bit more detail on graphing and writing in interval notation. All right, let's look at this one. Absolute value of x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 2. So the greater than or equal to, we're going to use the second one. So we're going to rewrite it with this. So I have what's inside the absolute value is greater than or equal to k or what's inside the absolute value is less than or equal to negative k. So we solve each one, subtract 5. So I get 3x is greater than or equal to negative 3 divide both sides by 3, I get x is greater than or equal to negative 1. Here I subtract 5 to both sides, I get 3x is less than or equal to negative 7, divide both sides by 3, x is less than or equal to negative 7 thirds. So if we graph this, say we've got negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, and 0. So to graph it, I have x is greater than or equal to negative 1. And that's a closed circle because it includes the negative 1. That's everything to the right. And then less than or equal to negative 7 thirds. Negative 7 thirds is about right in there. I have a closed circle because it's included or equal to and that's everything to the left. Now, to write this in interval notation, I've got negative infinity to negative 7 thirds, negative infinity to negative 7 thirds, I have a bracket because it's included, or union, negative 1 to infinity, negative 1 to positive infinity. All right, let's take a look at this one. Now you see this one, it doesn't match anything over here because notice all of these, the absolute value is on one side by itself. So we have to get the absolute value by itself, so, so we're going to subtract 3 to both sides. So I get absolute value of 7 minus 2x is greater than or equal to 0. Now we come back over here and we 
we can't use these properties because these are only for k greater than zero and here k is zero so let's think about this the absolute value of something greater than or equal to zero well this is always going to be greater than or equal to zero because the absolute value is always positive and it could equal zero because if we put in seven halves for x we would get zero on this side so this would be all real numbers so if we graph it it's going to be the entire number line so there's our graph and we write it in interval notation that would be from negative infinity to positive infinity now let's look at this one the absolute value of 5x minus 11 is less than negative 3 we can't use this because this is for only positive k's if k is positive and here k is negative well the absolute value is always positive and a positive number is never going to be less than negative 3 so this one would be no solution and that's it